Yeah. The next person we've got speaking is Jordan. Where is Jordan? So give it up for Jordan and Georgia, please. to have marched alongside all of you today. Each and every one of you, you're incredible and so powerful. Oh, Jesus, okay. <laughs> this is crazy. Let's give it up for the animals quickly right now. Okay, so as for us, uh, I'm Jordan. And I'm Georgia. Together we run Hark Your Clothing. We also are part of Sheffield Animal Save. Uh, um, and this year we're hoping to launch Hark Your Collective, which is a vegan social centre. This centre we hope will unite activists and vegans to inspire daily change and also provide resources for the local community to find out more about veganism. <laughs> we went vegan about two and a half years ago and I'm sure as many of you will know you go through so many emotions when you first go vegan. Guilt, anger, frustration, and for us, most of all, we felt fear. We were terrified that things would continue the way they are, that, that people would continue to be complicit in the suffering of animals, just as we had for so long. And that's when we went to our first save, and we looked these animals in the eyes, because they were on the way to slaughter, and we said sorry. And it was at that point we knew what needs to be done. This industry thrives on secrets. They're all behind walls, and we need to expose them. As activists, we need to come together and show the fear in these animals' eyes as they're on the way to slaughter and help expose the truth of the meat and dairy industry. Now, we all dream of a vegan world, a land where all cages are empty, and we think about this every day. And the quickest way to achieve this is through activism. Go to a save, Briar. Do an Earthlings experience, okay? It was activism that turned us vegan, and we can only hope that ours inspires others too. And we're not alone in this either. We can all stand together for those who can't speak. And let this be the start of a revolution. Raise your fists in the air for me right now. For the animals in a cage, in a lab, on the way to slaughter, or alone in the dark, we can and we will fight to end their suffering. Thank you very much.